Hi guys. Happy Sunday. I am hopping on here to do a quick little face. Talk about the basics of um, hacking, which is highlighting and contouring. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of color correcting. I'm going to wait a second to see if anybody hops on. God, the color on this is just... I think I, because I moved, it's... Let me see here. Let me see something. Let's see. It's all a little bit better. Okay, so. Happy Sunday, like I said. So I'm just going to hop on here and do a little bit of a um, of face and talk about the basics of hacking, which is highlighting and contouring. And um, I did a quick uh, sped up video yesterday of that. Um, so I'm going to um prime my face and there's a couple you know I, you can just hop in here and spray i'm just going to spray it directly on my face just to show that there's a couple different ways you can do it but you can this like the reason why i don't like spraying it directly on my face is because it like sprays so I like to spray it directly on the sponge and then wipe it because then it's more like directly proportioned on the face. So, and I just sprayed it right in my mouth. And it smells good, but it doesn't really taste the greatest, so. And I'm sorry if you can hear the TV in the background. Um, Keaton's taking a nap, and so I moved out here to try to do this while he's napping. So, <clears throat> I use a setting spray both before and after. And um, I'm gonna go in, um, I'm gonna clean the uh, small end of this, um, the small end of this brush really quick. And uh, color correct with Aspen, which is the lightest contour that we have on the spots on my face these little buggers that I've got going on. So like I said on one of my other videos that I did a live on, like I've had to play with my colors and I'm so glad that I finally got Aspen because it is a game changer for me. Um, so the small end here, and this is the blend brush which I can use my finger, which I do sometimes, but, and this has green undertones to it, so I think that's why it neutralizes red so well. And if I wanted to, I could just, if I wanted to, which I noticed yesterday when I was doing this, maybe not because of my acne, but because of how well this neutralizes red, I could probably get away with, if I needed to just be quick, I could um, get away with just, if I took my time, I could get away with uh, just putting Aspen on. If I used a different brush, I could get away with just putting Aspen on and not using my main highlight but I think I'm realizing that because of how my acne sits and where it sits, um, I just right now can't get away with that. So I'm, I'm just gonna go in and put a little bit on in those spots to color correct. And I am gonna use my finger and Warm it up a little bit. Go directly on those spots. Some of them are a little bit more angry than others. So, 
You can see the green undertones in it. And then I'm going to go over it with my main highlight. Okay. So just a thin layer is good. And then I'm going to do the cheetah hack for this. Um, I'm going to take... I'm using candlelit under my eyes. So just a little dot here. And I learned this by watching somebody else and I thought it was brilliant and it was beautiful when I saw her do it. So just a little bit under the eyes. And then I'm gonna take my secondary, which is Aura. Do like a chicken claw on my forehead. <laughs> and I have like a ball for a nose, so it's like okay, so down the nose. Here on the lips. So this is like this area here. I know the eyes here and the chin is considered the triangle of light. Okay. And then I'm going to take my main highlight. Which is amber. And I'm going to go up my cheek. And I'm not really going full coverage here. Some on the side of my nose. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my contour, which is Astoria. Contour is a little bit more um, cold. I don't know what the right word would be, but it's cold, right? So I have to warm it up a little bit. And then just a couple dots here. And I wasn't contouring my cheeks but then I found a better placement for it so I'm gonna contour a little bit higher up and not very much okay and then I'm gonna wipe the rest of this off this finger okay and then I'm gonna Go in here, right down the edge of the nose. And a little bit on the end. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip this brush over, this blend brush, and I'm gonna lightly start blending. Lightly start blending. And so I am building, so this was my building of my coverage, right? I'm going to blend this out. Go up here. And then I'm going to blend up. Blend up. 
And I'm probably gonna switch brushes because I like the way that the blush and bronzer brush blends. And I know I look crazy right now, but I promise you, the end result is not as crazy. So when you hop on, say hi. Okay, so. Okay, and then here. Blend out. Blend out. And I'm gonna use my finger right in here so that way I can put the product right where I want it under my eyes. Cause there's really fine lines right here so I wanna distribute it right where I want it. Okay. And then the detail hack brush I'm gonna to take to my nose to make sure that this line, which I oftentimes, it's hard to blend these lines right because you wanna keep them right where you want them. So that's what the sponge is, the perfector sponge is good for. Right in place. But the good thing about cream is that if you need more or you need to blend it out, it just blends beautifully. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back to my secondary, which was Aura, and I'm gonna take it down the middle here. Okay. Say hi when you're hopping on. I'm not, I can't see comments if you're, if you're talking, I can't see them. Are my comments not working? Hi, Talisha. They are working. Okay. So now I'm going to, I got black right here. Hi, how are you? Okay, so now I'm gonna take the multitasker brush and where I have these spots, I'm gonna take Aspen. It's kind of hard in, the, in this camera, but. And I'm gonna spot Correct. Well, you can come here where it's warmer. It's like, I don't know how warm it is, but it's warmer here. I'm a little bit jealous. I want some snow. Okay, so I'm going to spot correct with Aspen, and then I'm going to go back in. Mm -hmm. I'm in Carson City, Nevada. Okay, so then I'm going to go, I just used Aspen, and then I'm going to go back in with Don't worry, guys. This is not not done. 
Yeah, and when I was at Stanford last week, it was like 60 degrees. Okay. So, this lighting is awkward. Okay, so before I go to the vanilla dust, I'm going to take um, the blush and bronzer brush and I'm going to dip into, I'm going to use two different um, lip and cheeks. I'm going to use, I think this is Desert Sunset. Yeah, Desert Sunset. Actually, I should go in with sandstone first the darker one and go over top of it so this one's super pigmented yeah sandstone so i'm gonna go in with sandstone first and then i'm gonna go over it with desert sunset Thank you. I like it. I was not, so I just blended that out too much. So see, you can always add. It's so buildable. Okay. I was so scared of it at first. I was so scared. Like I did not want to even touch it at first. Okay. Thanks, Talisha. Hearing that from you is like, like, score, right? Because you're like the professional of the professionals. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna, I don't, I used Photoshop yesterday, so let's use. Goldie. Okay, so I'm going to take Goldie, put it here. Sorry, my family's talking in the background. Okay, so there. Down my nose. Cupid's bow. And then. Let's do. What is this color? Ruby. Let's do Ruby. This is bold. Yeah, I was going to say, don't we have to wait for the appraisal? It doesn't have to go through. Yeah, it's not as bold as it is in a tin. Okay, so no. Got it. <laughs> okay, that's Ruby. Okay, let's. Um, okay, so this is perfume. And what I like about the perfume is that it's it duels as an illuminator. And it's, it smells really good. Okay, so I just want to try something. I just want to be really... I'm going to take this um, setting powder. Here, I'm going to take it on my finger. I don't know why. I just... 
so I just took the setting powder because that ruby was like too bold for me and I put it on my lips to make it a little bit more matte and it calmed it down a little bit. I'm also going to take the sponge, this perfector sponge and it's wet and I'm putting it in the um, vanilla dust setting powder and I'm going to take it in all the spots that I feel like I'm oily or that I will get oily or pretty much anywhere that um, I attract extra moisture on my face, like where I wear my masks. I always get it really bad under my eyes, so center on my forehead, but I forgot that I wanted to put bronzer on, so sorry guys, I'm scatterbrained, but this stuff is really pigmented too. So I take the, the bronzer end of the blush and bronzer brush and I very lightly tap it. You can even take your finger and apply it to the high points of your face. So there, there you can do it that way or you could just lightly take the brush and do it that way and apply it like that. So there, nose, chin. Now I look like I have a butt chin. And neck. And it just makes you look like you've been in the sun. Okay. You could even, um, for the vanilla dust setting powder, if you have the powder brush, you could take either end of the powder brush and apply it that way. Just rub it in there and apply it that way. So I didn't put anything on my eyes. So one thing that I love about the illuminators is that they dual as eyeshadows. And they're so pigmented that you can literally use your finger. All right. This is me just being quick because I'm afraid Keaton's going to wake up. Mascara. And then I'm going to set my face with the setting spray. Kalisha, are you still on here? So <clears throat> this is the Thrive Mascara and one of the things that I really like about this mascara because when I wash my face I struggle to like burn my eyes like from rubbing them. This stuff does not do that and so I love that this stuff just comes off so easy when I'm washing my face. It's like it stays on and it doesn't it doesn't bleed it doesn't bleed out under my eyes it doesn't bleed on top of my eyes but it comes off really easy when i'm washing my face and that is like a major thing for me when i'm washing my face Oh yeah, I wanted to show that um, we that we can use either contour or eyeshadow for eyebrows without um, brow wax. So I should do that.
I feel like it's been such a peaceful, quiet Sunday weekend. I don't know. How about the rest of y'all? Y'all? Since when do I say y'all? If you're watching this back on the replay, hashtag replay, I want to do another giveaway. Um, and so I think I'm just going to do one for the heck of it because I got a, um, I got another compact, another palette, another palette four that I just have. And so I want to give it away. So I'm thinking about doing that. I think it would be. I think it's a good opportunity to do a giveaway. I guess I should go over some points if you ended up watching this whole thing. Highlight replaces foundation, your original normal foundation. Um, I never used contour prior to using Saint. Um, illuminator is our, um, Illuminator replaces our, what we know as highlighter. Um, so those are like some of the things that I guess I should mention because I was so confused when I came here. I didn't know. I was like, what? Highlighter? Like we, you know, I wear highlighter as like bronze, like not bronzer, but like to highlight my face, you know, and highlighter is what we know as um foundation so saint has things a little bit different so yeah and things are a little bit more pigmented in the tin than they appear on the skin so most of the time it blends out different I'm so glad I made the change though because my skin is happier. Yeah. So I don't know what other basics I need to cover. Um, let me set my face. Let me set my face. So again, I'm just gonna spray this um, perfector sponge. And then I'm gonna let it like sit for a second because my face is, and then I'm gonna lightly dab it all over. Oh, I said I was gonna do my eyebrows. See, see, I forget. But I'm glad I remembered. Okay. So, I'm going to use an eyeshadow, and I'm going to use, we have so many eyeshadow color options, but what I'm going to use is basic for me, but we can, if you're getting color matched, you know, I can color match you to whatever color you're eyebrows are or what you know what I'm saying like I can color match you we have so many options for either contour or for eyeshadows so actually I'm gonna spray this brush I'm gonna spray the brush but it doesn't that doesn't have to be how how it's done just makes the product go on easier What did I just do? Uh oh, my dog's gonna bark right now. Sorry.
Okay, so I'm just filling them in, right? I actually could, probably could have gone, let's see. Let's see what happens when I go a shade darker. Okay, so I want a shade darker, which I'm not used to. Not sure I'm about it, honestly. I need someone to teach me how to do brows. How to draw them. Okay. So that was. I love them. So when that package came, so that's one color. That's I think that's far too dark for me. I'm not a dark person when it comes to my eyebrows. So, this is more of my, see what I mean by that's too dark? That's what I mean by, like, finding the right um, color for eyebrows. Like, that's, I'm too dark for me. So. That's the difference. I mean, maybe if I got used to it, I could go that dark, but right now, because I normally don't go that dark, that seems like far too dark for me. So, but I just wanted to show that, um, there I go, drawing on my face. I just wanted to show that eyeshadow can be used um, to dual as eyebrows to fill in. So, um, anyway, that's what I've got for you today. So, thanks for watching. Drop a comment. Let me know that you were here. Um, hi, Myra. I see you throwing them likes. Anyway, um... Hey, how are you? Good morning. Wonderful. Just wait hey. Oh, no. So, I was just about to finish up here. Do you like my two-toned eyebrows? I was playing around. I was trying to figure out my what I would use for eyebrow color. I think that's too dark. Um, so, oh, I have you ever... You don't think so? I feel like because I normally don't go that dark, it feels really dark. Have you ever used one of these? Can you even see it? It's one of those like uh, derma planer things. I bought one and I bought one and I'm scared to use it. Scared you. Anyway. Yeah. I'm scared to use it because of my acne. So I want to use it. Maybe it'll help it. Sorry about the conversation in the background. Okay. I will. I'll, I'll YouTube it. YouTube is like a life, it's like a, it saves 
me from making, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like it, yeah. All of our buildings are big enough that if we had the full All right. I love you guys and thanks for watching and uh yeah if you are watching the replay hashtag replay i've like probably said that three times but anyway have a happy sunday and i'll talk to you guys later i should